and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this very dramatic glittery prompt makeup look for you guys and I know it's very dramatic and not everyone is going to wear this makeup look but I thought it's prom, it's once in a lifetime thing. Well, unless you're popular and like seniors invite you even you're your freshman or something. That was not my case. <laughs> And for me, prom was very special, and I wish I could go back and do my makeup differently because I did do my makeup for prom, and it was a few years ago, so it wasn't the best, and if I could go back, I would definitely change probably everything. Like, well, not everything, but like, because the experience was nice. It's just that I wish I could have gone a different dress because a lot of girls were wearing the same dress I was wearing because I don't know I guess it was very inexpensive and very simple so I'll change my dress and definitely my makeup my hair I love so I'll leave that and also this look doesn't only have to be worn to prom you can wear this to a girl's night out date night movies ice cream date church you can wear this to whatever you want there's no rules when it comes to what to wear where you know so yeah if you want to know how to create this dramatic glittery prompt makeup look then please keep on watching all right so the only eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today it's obviously the Jaclyn Hill palette so the first eyeshadow I'm going to be getting is this one right here and this eyeshadow right here is called butter for this eyeshadow, I'm going to be grabbing a Sigma E35 blending brush and I'm going to be applying this eyeshadow all over my crease all the way to my inner corner. I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow very high because this is an eyeshadow that is going to be peeking through when I apply the darkest colors. Also, I'm going to be bringing the eyeshadow outwards like from the outer corner to be creating like a cat eye effect. Next eyeshadow I'm going to be using is this one right here and this one's called Mocha and I'm going to be applying it with a Morphe M573 brush. With this eyeshadow I'm going to be doing the exact same thing I did with the previous eyeshadow. As always I'm going to try to keep it a little lower than the other eyeshadow just so it can look more blended. You can always go back to the brush you had previously and just blend it out a little bit more. My next eyeshadow is going to be this one and this one's called Central Park and I'm going to be grabbing that with a Morphe M514. Still doing the same thing, just keeping it a little lower than the other eyeshadows. Just take your time with each eyeshadow for this look. It is very important for your eyeshadow to be very well blended. Well, with every look. But with since I'm using very dark colors, it is very important like for them to transition from like lightest to darkest. It is very visible. Like what I'm trying to say is that it's very visible if they are not very well blended because I'm using um, black. Now I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here. This one's called Abby's and I'm going to be grabbing that with a Sigma E36 blending brush. I know it may seem like this look is turning out horrible and you feel like you probably got punched in the eye, but trust the process. For my next step, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade um, Granite and this is the shade I use for my eyebrows and it's literally almost black but I'm going to be using this as a gel eyeshadow to make it a little more intense. I know I already applied black eyeshadow but I want to make it more dark. I'm going to be grabbing this with my finger and I'm just going to be dragging it all over my eyelid. And also with my finger, I'm going to be grabbing Abby's again and I'm going to set the gel. I'm going to then grab the same 
Sigma E36 blending brush again and I'm going to grab Abby's one more time and I'm going to try to blend any harsh lines. Alright, and when you feel like everything's well blended, you can move forward to the next step. For this next step, I'm going to be using this NYX Cosmetics Liquid Crystal Body Liner and this is in the shade Crystal Silver. I'm going to be applying this glitter eyeliner on my crease and basically just create my own crease. Okay, when you're done applying the glitter, it should look something like this. You don't need to go over with any other eyeshadow. This is a complete look for the top of the eye. I'm just going to be applying false lashes and it's pretty much it for the top part of my eyes. The lashes I'm going to be applying today are these lashes right here and this one's our Queen by Golden Hour Lashes. Alright, so I already finished my face makeup and I'm going to finish my eyes now and for that I'm going to first use this vintage lip, no it's not a lip, um, eyeliner and it's just honestly the best eyeliner I've tried. So it's really dark and it's really 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 creamy. It is really hard to apply this with just one hand. But I'm just going to apply this on my waterline. Alright, there's the eyeliner. Now for the eyeshadows under my eyes, I'm going to be using the same eyeshadows I applied on my crease, which was Butter, Mocha, Central Park, and Abby's. I'm just going to apply them in the opposite way. So I'm going to start off with the darkest one which is Abby's first and for that I'm going to be using a Morphe M213 brush and I'm just going to apply that right below the eyeliner. Next eyeshadow I'm going to be grabbing is Central Park. Moving on to Mocha. And finally, Butter. I'm now going to apply mascara on my lower lashes and I'm going to be using this um, Tarte Tardis mascara. Alright, all I need to finish my eyes now is the inner corner highlight and I'm going to be using this shade right here and it's called Beam. And for that I'm going to be using a Bibella Cosmetics flat brush. Alright, I am done with my eyes now. I am going to move on to lips now. I'm going to line my lips with this MAC Boldly Bear Bully Bear, I don't know how to say this, Bully Bear Lip Pencil. Now for lipstick, I'm going to be using this Dose of Colors Knock on Wood Liquid Lipstick. So this is the final look. I love how this turned out. It's very dramatic, very dark, but also very glam and girly. But it's also letting bitches know not to mess with you. 
you know i really hope you guys like this look if you guys do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye